Hello and welcome to YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Power Query feature to download historical prices for any publicly traded company. And then after downloading the report, I'm going to show you how to filter the report to extract only specific day for each week. Power Query is a free add-in for Excel 2010 and newer. Uh, if you have a 2010 or newer, you can download uh, Power Query if you go to go by going to Microsoft and then under the search bar, the, the type Power Qu Query, hit OK, then click on this link and simply just follow the instruction. Uh, Power Query is a uh, self-service business intelligence. All right. First of all, if you want to download any historical prices, you can go, for example, on a Yahoo, and then click on Finance link. In this example, I'm going to use Bank of America, BAC, Bank of America. So normally, you go to Bank of America page and then click on historical data and then you download it but when you download this information it's going to be um, a static if you want to keep update with the information you have to with this information you have to go all the time to yahoo finance and then download uh, the historical prices but with power query i'm going to show you that uh, dynamic refreshable report all right, I'm using 2016, Excel 2016. Uh, start from here, then click on Excel 2016. Um, you gotta see this built-in workbook, stock analysis or stock simple comparison. If you don't see it, maybe you need to scroll down if not just go to the search bar and hit stock symbol and then hit enter here is the workbook click on the workbook then hit create and then go to data show query or you can use shortcut Alt A P S to display the available query on the right hand side. Uh, for now, I'm not interested in this table, so I'm gonna hit right click, delete, click delete, double click on this query, you will get a pop up window like this, and the stock optional uh, bar type PAC. Um, it doesn't matter if you write it in upper case or lower case. Both of them works. Then hit OK. Here we go. Now you have the historical prices of Bank of America since the inception of March 13, 1986. <coughs> The next step, I'm going to extract a specific day from each week. In this example, I'm going to pick Monday. I'm going to extract only Mondays from this report. But before I do that, I just want to verify the data type in this report. So I click on date. Data type is date. Click on this one. Decimal numbers, good next column decimal numbers this one decimal numbers the next one decimal numbers and this one whole number the adjusted column I'm not interested so I'm gonna right click and remove I always I give a name for a good name for the report so I'm gonna name this report as a BAC underscore Mondays and hit enter 
All right. In order for me to extract only Mondays, I'm going to need to add column. So click on add column, add custom column. You get a pop-up window, a new column name. I'm going to name this column as a Monday. Hit tab, go to the next one. And I'm going to use one of the built-in formula in Power Query. The formula is date day of week D A T E dot D A Y O F week and open parentheses uh, power query formula it's a case sensitive so type exactly the way that I show you here D uppercase D uppercase O uppercase W uppercase and then double click on date close parentheses hit OK now we added this column power query assign a number for each day uh, power query assign number 0 for Sundays 1 for Mondays, 2 for Tuesdays, 3 for Wednesdays, and 4 for Thursdays, 5 for Fridays, and 6 for Saturdays. Since in, in this example, I'm, I'm going to pick only Mondays, so I'm going to filter this column by click here, drop down, and check all, and select number one for Mondays and hit OK then go to home close and load close and load to and we're gonna I'm gonna download it to a table click load see the queries merging so we have uh, 1470 rows loaded um, <clears throat> I'm gonna change the format type here in this date so I'm gonna click here control shift down arrow right click format sales and go to custom and point to the beginning of this type and hit D three times and you can see the sample here click OK you see here all the all Mondays and uh, also I'm gonna change the format here highlight this four columns control shift down arrow right click format cells number two decimal is good click OK now if you wanna download the historical prices for another company it's very easy just right click here duplicate create another query uh, let's pick uh, IBM as, as example in this one backspace hit enter and then go to advanced editor uh, change this from Bank of America to IBM and hit done now you see IBM is close and load close and load to table and here we go I'm gonna verify this I'm gonna apply uh, same format here I'm just gonna write click here on a1 control shift right arrow down arrow then go to home format painter go to the sheet number two 
and click here I forgot to name the sheet so I'm gonna click here write IBM double click here it's Bank of America click here and hit control home that's it here you have it uh, historical price for Bank of America Mondays thank you for watching